This is Red Feather from Grep Hacks. In this Linux 080 video, we will be showing you the differences between two different builds of 0 AD. One being January 10th, 2018, and the other July 31st of 2019. The first build, along with prior builds, I had played for many, many years. And to my understanding, it has came to its end of life, although still fun and having functional gameplay. One of the first techniques a player may learn about the Zero AD game is the bell warning system. In the January 10th, 2018 build and prior, there was a dual bell warning system. The Zero AD warning system has three functions, clicking upon the Civic Center and ringing the bell lets your partner know, if you have one, that you are under attack. And tells any female harvesters to take cover in any available structure. This includes towers and any place that allows housing. The secondary bell tells the rest of your troops that are in range to take cover in any available structure in order to save your army and to fortify buildings and depending upon the attack, making structures less likely to be overtaken by the enemy. Once the attack is over, ringing the release bell tells your troops and harvesters to resume their activities. I found this to be a highly tactical maneuver in Zero AD. The Civic Center holds a maximum of 20 troops, while towers hold 5 to 8 troops depending upon the faction you are playing. And the barracks holds a maximum of 10 troops. This strategy works well with certain siege weapons, especially elephants or four-wheeled battering rams, allowing them to get close enough, unloading the troops just long enough to destroy them, then returning to the housed area until a set attack is over. Now let us take a look at the newer build of Zero AD, July 31st, 2019. As you may have noticed, the bell warning system still exists. In this newer build of Zero AD, although it does appear to have changed in a couple of ways. The first thing I noticed about the change was there for some reason is no secondary warning bell, and the bell only tells close harvesters to house within the Civic Center. Also, you may have noticed as I clicked from building to building, it appears as though the Zero AD bell warning system has expanded to certain structures, such as the storehouse and the farmstead.
There has been other advancements in this build of July 31st, 2019, Zero AD. I will not get a chance to talk about all of them within this Linux Zero AD video, although I will mention the ones that seem to have a big effect on the outcome of a Zero AD game. Siege weapons appear to have upgraded specifically the two-wheeled bolt shooter and the four-wheeled siege catapult weapons. In the past version of Zero AD build of January 10th, 2018, it was quite easy to send troops and commandeer the siege weapon. But now they have plenty of staying power, allowing more time for reinforcements to arrive. This gives the capability for the enemy to create low-cost siege weapons early on in the game, attacking you or your partners if you have any. Keeping in mind that these two wheeled bolt shooters have just enough range to stay out of sight while engaging towers or other critical structures. Also, the two-wheel bolt shooter weapon appears to have been upgraded so as the bolts cause a bit more damage. As far as the Zero AD four-wheeled battering ram weapon is concerned, in the past build, you could send troops and commandeer the siege weapon. But this is no longer the case. So be prepared to destroy them at any chance. Although that is not the only upgrade to this four-wheeled battering ram weapon, and the next upgrade we will talk about not only encompasses the four-wheeled battering ram weapon, but leads into the game in general. As the Zero AD enemy sends either the four-wheeled battering ram weapons or elephants in for their attack, and you send whatever forces to fend them off, it appears the AI functionality has been enhanced. What do I mean by this? Well, the AI has the capabilities to kite their four-wheeled battering rams and or elephant weapons, causing your defending troops to chase them around, and if there are more than one, and you change your defending troops to the one that is doing the damage, the one that is that was kiting your troops takes over doing the said damage, and the other picks up the kiting process. Other AI advancements I have noticed, but are not limited to, in this Linux Zero AD build, are related to a said partner and troop development, as well as deployment of troops. Deployment of two-wheeled bolt shooter weapons are now accustomed to deploying so as to have backup their firepower seems to have been increased, giving more critical damage to troops and structures with the capabilities to switch targets from structure to troops while in battle. So, in the Zero AD build of July 31st, 2019, if you have a AI partner, the said partner could be pressured into becoming neutral with a said enemy. If this were to occur, your partner then will begin sharing resources with you, but your enemy that has become neutral with your partner. This seems to give the AI enemy the capability to not only send large troop movements to attack, but allows the AI enemy to build up stationary troops for defense. So a lot, a lot of this depends upon how you set up the rules of a said Zero AD game before playing. And most of the settings in my game setup I am speaking of 
their default value with the exception of starting resources and strength of AI enemy as well as my partners. If you have enjoyed this 080 review and found it helpful in some fashion, and if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. I mean, after all, it is free. Intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu1 from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.